Hi there and welcome to tutorial 21 on standardizing the normal and this is for the Edexcel S1 A level module. It is applicable to most other exam boards and as always if you're looking for further help with your studies do check out youtube.com slash Mr. Arnold's Maths. Okay so let's talk about standardizing the normal. So suppose I have a random continuous random variable that I know is normally distributed and it has some mean mu and a variance sigma squared. Um, and it turns out that the mean in this case is 50 and the um, variance is 4 squared or in other words the uh, standard deviation is 4. Now in the previous video we learned how to work out uh, from our tables various different probabilities um, but that was only for the standard normal distribution uh, Z and that was only when the mean was zero and the variance uh, was one squared or the standard deviation in that case is one. So we have we have a bit of a problem here. Um, our tables only work when our normal distribution is uh, standard. So what we need to learn how to do is to standardize our normal distribution. So we can actually uh, transform the distribution by using this formula here. So to to, uh, to standardize, that's the standardized score and that's the raw score. So that's the standardized score and that will be the raw score. So I'm told that the mean in this case is 50 and that the uh, standard deviation is 4. So that would be 54, that would be 58, and up here would be 62. Now what I need to do is I need to actually transform this so that it becomes a normal distribution. And we do that using this formula here. So, suppose I was asked to work out the probability that x is less than 53. Well, my table, my tables, my standard normal tables don't actually have any values for 53 so we're going to have to standardize the score by using the formula here so what I do is to get the standard score Z I take the raw score which is 53 I subtract the mean which is 50 and I divide it by the standard deviation which in this case is 4 and 53 minus 50 gives me 3 and 3 divided by 4 is 0 0.75 so to work out the probability that x is less than 53 which is roughly around here so what I'm trying to work out is the area under the curve everywhere to the left of this I can get the exact same answer by working out the probability that uh, z is less than 0 0.75 which is going to be roughly here so if I work out the probability that Z Z is less than 0 0.75 that will give me the correct answer so let's pull up our table here let's look for 0 0.75 and that's 0 0.7734 so 0.7734 so roughly 77% um, are below 53 what about uh, if I had a problem such as this a probability that x is less than or equal to 45 well because it's continuous that's just the same as the probability that x is less than 45 it has no difference and um, so I need to standardize standardize my score this is the raw score 45 I'm going to standardize it now by using the formula so standardized score Z will be equal to 45 subtract the mean which is 50 and then divide that by divide that by the standard deviation which is 4 and 45 subtract 50 is negative 5 negative 5 over 4 is minus 1.25 so now what I'm trying to work out is the probability the 
I want the probability that my standard score is less than minus 1.25 and we're going to need a little diagram to help us work this one out so I'm going to clear this up here you might want to do a new one um, minus 1.25 is going to be over here so minus 1.25 and I want the probability that Z is less than that which is this region here and my my uh, distribute my normal distribution table doesn't actually give me negative scores so I'm going to have to look at the uh, symmetric version so I can look at the probability that Z is less than 1.25 which will tell me all of this region here. It'll tell me the area under the curve here if I work out the probability that Z is less than 1.25. And if I subtract that from one, so if I do one minus the probability that Z is less than 1.25, that's gonna give me this green region here. So, uh, 1.25, uh, probably that said is uh, less than 1.25, is 0.8944. So it's 1 minus 0 0.8944. And taking out the calculator, minus 0.8944, we get 0.1056. Okay, uh, so let's have a look at a couple of examples of just standardizing and turning back into raw scores. So, if I have a, a mean of 56 and a standard deviation of 7, I need to find the standardized score uh, for a raw score of 70. So the raw score, the mean in this case is 56. Uh, the standard deviation is 7. So 1, 2, 3, adding 7 each time. 7 on to 56 is 63, uh, 70, and 77. <clears throat> I want the probability that, um, or I want to convert a score of 70, a raw score of 70, which is here, into its equivalent in the standard normal distribution. So remembering the formula, which you do need to know, to work out the standardized score, you take the raw score, you subtract the mean mu, and then you divide it by the standard deviation. <coughs> so we're going to do uh, z will equal x, which is 70, minus the, the mean, 56, and I divide that by the standard deviation, 7. 70 minus 56 is 14. 14 divided by 7 is 2. So the equivalent is 2. And that actually makes sense when we look at our diagram. We can see this is two standard deviations up, which is 70, and two standard deviations up on this is two as well. Uh, let's do the second one now. Um, so I'm going to do Z equals the raw score, 52.5, minus the mean, 56, divided by the standard deviation, seven. Um, which gives me minus 3.5 over 7, which is minus 0 0.5. So 52.5 uh, will be somewhere over here. It's equivalent in the standard normal distribution is minus 0 0.5. And then we could find probabilities based on that. Okay, pause the video now and see if you can find the standardized score for the raw scores given here. Okay, hopefully you've managed to go with that. Here are the solutions. Um, so the standardized score is 1.5 and the standardized score here will be zero. And again, this one kind of makes sense. If the mean is 56 and I standardize that, when I take 56 away from 56, I get zero. Okay, what about going in the other direction? So if, I've give, if I'm have if i given the standardized score and I want to find the raw score. So I'm told that the mean is 56 again, and the standard deviation is seven. So I could 
add seven on each time to get my three standard deviations, uh, which will give me 63, 70, 77. And I can go in the other direction as well, taking seven away each time. Um, so if the raw score is 1.3, which on this is going to be roughly here, what exactly does that um, correspond to in the raw score table? So remembering the formula, Z equals the standardized score equals the raw score minus the mean mu divided by the uh, standard deviation. So substituting in, um, I, I'm given the standardized score, which is 1.3. And that must be equal to the raw score minus the mean, which is 56, divided by the standard deviation, which is 7. Uh, multiply, uh, multiplying both sides, multiplying both sides by 7, um, we get x minus 56 will be equal to, and 7 times 1.3 will be 9.1, and then. Adding 56 to both sides, we get that x equals um, 65.1. Okay, another example here. Um, so I'm given the standardized score of minus 2.4, and that must equal the raw score x minus the mean 56 divided by the standard deviation 7. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 7 again. Uh, so let's see, uh, probably handier to use a calculator for this, but let's let's try and do it. Uh, seven fours are 28, so it's going to end with 0.8, carry the 2. So negative 16.8, negative 16.8. Um, and now I'm going to add 56 to both sides, so x will equal, if I add 56 onto, um, onto this, I think... Let's see, uh, minus 16.8 plus 56 gives me, oh, let's just get rid of that answer bit, we don't want that, gives us 39.2, 39.2. Okay, time for you to have a go now, so pause the video and work out the raw score for the standardized score given below. Okay, hopefully you managed that. Uh, here is the solution. So again, we're using this formula, which we must know off by heart for our, our exam. And then we just solve the equations. Okay, um, so let's look at a kind of a problem solving situation. Um, Suppose I'm giving I'm, I'm given a, a ran, continuous random variable that I know is normally distributed with a mean of 20 and a variance of 9. I'm asked to find the, the value of b such that the probability that my variable is greater than b is given to be 0 0.0. 0688. Okay, a couple of things to note here. Uh, we don't actually use the variance in our calculation, so it's important that I recognize that the uh, standard deviation sigma is the square root of the variance, so the standard deviation is 3. And I'm going to use a couple of diagrams to help me get to grips with what's going on in the problem. So, um, this is going to be my Uh, this is going to be f of x and x. So this is before uh, our variable has been transformed. So I know that probably that x is greater than b is 0 0.0668, which is going to be up here somewhere. So if I let that be b, that means that the probability that it was greater than b is 0 0.0668. Eight. And that's going to be the same on my standard normal. It's going to have the same probability on the standard normal. Z. And that means in there is going to be 0 0.0668. Now, let's have a look at our table, um, the percentage points table, because that's when 
uh, z is greater than z so is there anything here for zero point a probability of zero points zero six six eight clearly not so that's no good to me so i'm going to have to look at um everything to the left of b so if that's zero point zero six six eight if i do one minus point zero six six eight that means everything to the left is 0.9332 so everything in here is 0 0.9332 and we know that because the area under the curve must be 1 and that means it follows the same here 0 0.9332 so everything in here uh, is roughly around 93% so if I have a look at my table and I have a look at well what is the what is the value of z what is the value of z so the probability that z is less than little z what is this little z going to be when the probability is 0 0.9332 so we're using the skills we, we picked up in the last video and the last couple of exercises. So what will Z be? 0 0.9332. 0 0.9332 gives me a Z score of 1.5. So Z must be equal to 1.50. Now that is the standardized score. But remembering that the standardized score is equal to the raw score minus the mean mu divided by the standard deviation. And what, I, what I'm looking for is I'm actually looking for the raw score. So I need to transform this. So Z is 1.50. So 1.50 equals X, which is the raw score I'm looking for, minus the mean, which is 20 divided by the standard deviation which is 3 so I'm going to multiply both sides by 3 uh, so that becomes 4.5 equals x minus 20 and then I got to add x, uh, 20 to both sides so that means x equals 24.5 <coughs> so the probability that x is greater than b well b we now know is 20.45 it's 20.4 or 24.5 should i say 24.5 is 0 0.0668 so b is 24.5 Okay, time for you to have a go now, so pause the video and see if you can find the value B. Just a little hint, you may need to consider your, um, your percentage points table. Okay, hopefully you've had a go at that. Uh, here is the solution. Um, just a quick run through of how this worked. Uh, so we marked B uh, as in, like we did in the last question, I know the probability given is that it's greater than B is 0 0.05 and um, when I go to my uh, if on the standard normal table that means that this region here is also 0 0.05 so if I go to my um, percentage points table uh, 0 0.05 we can see is here gives me a Z score of 1.6449 so I know Z is uh, 1.6449, um, but that was standardized. So I need to uh, get the raw score by working backwards, like we did in the last question, and I get B to be 31.5796. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, you should now be able to complete exercise 9C. Uh, I'll be back again with another video soon, so best of luck with revision, and I'll talk to you again sometime. Take it easy.